Canon just released a new piece of software that lets you use your Canon camera as a webcam without any form of capture card. And we're gonna talk about that next. All right, welcome back guys. A couple of days ago, Canon released a new piece of beta software called the EOS Webcam Utility. And what this piece of software does is allows certain Canon cameras to be used as a native webcam without having to use a capture card or any crazy software inside of Windows. Essentially, once you install this piece of software and reboot your computer, if you go into something like OBS or Zoom and have your camera connected to your computer via the, uh, the USB cable, it should just show up as a webcam source that lets you use it. Now, with the shortage of webcams that's going on right now, now that people are working from home, I'm sure this is one of the reasons they push this out early. And one of the reasons I say they push this out early is because it's not quite perfect. There are a few caveats to the software that they could have possibly fine tuned or maybe even wanted to fine tune before releasing it. But with things going on the way they are in the world, I guess they figured they may as well release it now. That way people can get some use out of it for working from home. Now, some of the things going on with the software is you're not getting a full 1080p frame uh, like you would from a capture card. Uh, you're getting about half of that resolution. And for most teleconferencing and things like that, streaming, um, anything where you just need to have a uh, some form of video, it's probably going to be fine. Uh, you're also maxed out at 30 frames per second. So if you have your camera video set higher than that, you could get some choppiness. Uh, you cut it down to 30 frames per second. It seems to smooth out a little bit, but it's still not perfect. Again, this is something that's probably going to be improved upon as the software gets updated through time. Now, the biggest issue some of you guys are gonna run into is that not many people currently have a dummy battery for their cameras to keep long-term power going to it. Now, plugging your camera into your computer is not going to charge the battery. So if you're doing maybe a 15 to 20 minute conference or a call, your standard battery is probably gonna hold up fine with a full charge. Just make sure it's charged before you start doing it. If you need to do anything longer than that, long meetings, Twitch streaming, YouTube streaming, you will need to invest into a dummy battery that has full-time power. That way you can use this thing for hours and keep it going. All right, so as you can see, I'm currently in OBS Studio. Um, I have my Canon M6 Mark II plugged in through the USB and using my Yeti microphone as my microphone source. That way I get better audio. Now, one thing you may notice with uh, my video, and this is going to vary from camera to camera from what I can tell, is that mine is a little bit more choppy uh, than I like. I've tried a bunch of different settings um, using suggestions from other people that made their video a little bit better. And that's when I've come to the conclusion that this is just a camera to camera issue. So while this piece of software is in beta, some cameras are going to be a little bit more smooth than other cameras. I have no idea why this is. It just seems to be um, what's happening so far with this software. Now, with that being said, um, if you're somebody who does not have a webcam and this is your only option, it's better than no webcam at all. And I think that's really what Canon was trying to go for when they released this, was they were just putting a piece of software out there, like I said earlier, to kind of help people in need of a webcam that may already have a Canon camera around. So I fully expect this software to get better. Now, some of the suggestions that I've seen to help make uh, the video better on certain cameras, and again, this is gonna vary model to model, is put it in camera mode instead of video. Uh, some people have reported on their units that that has made the uh, frame rate and the choppiness a little bit better. Um, others have said put it in 1080p, 30 frames per second mode, uh, that that could potentially help. I've gone through both of those and it didn't really, I didn't see any difference on my side. So right now I just have it at 1080p at 30 frames per second. Um, just recording and see what it does. Now I'm gonna pull up a list of the cameras that this currently works for. That way you can get an idea. And I'm gonna put the link down to it as well in the description. All right, now this is your full list of cameras. I mean, they have a good chunk of their, uh, I guess more recent cameras included on here. And a lot of the more common ones that you run into are on this list. You know, your Canon M50, your Rebel T7, T6, uh, which 
everyone knows there's a lot of those out there. Uh, your ADD, your 90D, the EOS R and RP, and then even some of the PowerShop models are on this list. So once you're on this list, you just want to click on the uh, camera you have. And then the next page it's going to take you to is the driver page for that camera. And right here on top in gray, and I'm going to move this one more time. This is what you're looking for. It's the EOS webcam utility beta 0.9 for windows. Essentially you want to download this, you want to install it. And then afterwards, and this is an extremely important part because it doesn't really prompt you to do this, reboot your machine. If you don't, OBS and some of the other software will have a hard time picking this up. And that's really it. It shouldn't take you more than about five, 10 minutes to get all of this set up. If your camera's on the list, give it a shot. Um, it's, it's again, better than nothing right now. Uh, the quality is going to be much better from a visual standpoint than a standard webcam. Canon's absolutely going in the right direction for this. So I can't really wait to see what they've got planned in the future for this piece of software. I'm sure it's going to do nothing but get better as time goes on and we see uh, more updates. Hopefully Canon puts a lot more work into this uh, piece of software because I know something myself, as well as most other Canon users would love to see is a way to natively use your camera with high frame rates high resolution as a webcam without the need for an HDMI capture card. All right, guys, that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification icon. That way you get notifications anytime I put out a new video. If you have any comments at all, please post them down in the comments section, and I'll be glad to answer any questions you have. Until next time.